I'm telling you, every time I just begin to talk about the Holy Spirit, it's like it's like a magnet that you cannot resist. Though our time is fast spent, but somebody must receive something tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. What are the rewards of fellowship with the Holy Spirit? I'll give you just three of them. Number one, the reward, the child, the proceed of that intercourse between you and the Spirit. The same way when a man meets his wife, something leaves that man to his wife. And over time, a child is born that child is the consummation of their oneness is that true when you stay with the holy spirit when koinonia is at work in your life certain things must happen number one authentic spiritual power authentic spiritual power i said authentic because there are all kinds of things all kinds of things right now authentic spiritual power authentic spiritual power the anointing for miracles the anointing for signs and wonders they are a product of intimacy brothers and sisters listen to me if you've been called into the apostolic ministry or prophetic ministry or teaching or pastoral any of the fivefold ministry you need the anointing for supernatural miracles signs and wonders Men can forget what you say, but they will never forget the impact of your meeting upon their lives. Many pastors are struggling. They keep speaking, but there is no grace. There is no anointing. There is no authentic anointing. I'm not talking about laying hands on people. That your words, they do something to the physical bodies of those listening. They do something to their minds. The words do something. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them confirming the words he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me he has smeared me with oil where did that happen in the in the secret place while i was fellowshipping with the holy ghost a deposit of his ability rubbed off on me and i come out of the secret place with that ability the bible says the spirit drove jesus to the wilderness and he was there he was there for how long now 40 days and at the end of it, the Bible says he returned with the, in the power of the Spirit. He returned in the power of the Spirit. He returned in the power of the Spirit. You want to see authentic power. You want to see the anointing of the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, I believe in impartation from men of God, but the Holy Spirit is the greatest custodian of the anointing. You stay with him, you have the anointing without measure. Dimensions of his anointing comes upon your life. Brothers and sisters, listen. It has nothing, I don't care how weak you are right now. If you stay with the Holy Ghost. Man, woman, boy, girl, including the little ones. You will contact something that is tangible. The world may criticize you, but they cannot deny what is at work in your life. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work. When you see mighty works, there is an anointing. You are my ever-present helper. Holy Spirit. Ah, yeah. And he anoints you. So an ordinary man, brothers and sisters, an ordinary timid Joshua Selman, when his anointing comes upon you, look at Samson. He was a man who was weak. But when the anointing came upon him, he did mighty things. And men will look at you. They will see small you. But there is big Jesus. There is big Holy Spirit. So men will invite you for meetings. Thousands of people. And when you walk through and see those wheelchairs. And those blind eyes. You know that it's not just about talking nonsense. It's either it is there or not. And you stretch your hands. And you speak and say in the name of the Lord Jesus. Blind eyes open. And you are hearing people shouting. I can see. And you are flattered yourself. Because you know that you are not the custodian of this. This is what happens in Koinonia. He blesses us with his presence. And so we can command devils to go and they must leave. And we can command sicknesses to go. 
and we can speak to blood conditions and change them and we can speak to situations and alter destinies a dear lady of ours wrote her exams and her wayek and, and when the results came out you know she was so excited sent me a text yesterday i met with her briefly today and this lady just nailed it on point i mean i looked i said goodness this is great the holy ghost can take a weak person mary said how shall these things be oh lord how will i have an international ministry as weak as i am how can this guitar produce an international ministry oh lord is it true that one day i will stand before the nations and god is saying do not underestimate the power of the anointing upon the life of a man they will pay you they will lodge you in hotels and you are there wondering oh god no there is this treasure you are an earthen vessel but there is a treasure the only way to take advantage of it is to carry you along because it's in you same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me oh i'm anointed say i'm anointed your love that rescued the earth lives in me listen brothers and sisters it's on the strength of the secret place that we can tell you you will never go back the same you see that that is what is responsible many of you came here probably for the first time you just said let's come and see what happened and you came and you encountered the anointing of the spirit if you are a preacher in this place stop doing ministry without the anointing you're going to fight everybody around you because of anger you will hate everybody around you because of competition and intimidation many preachers are angry with anointed people today because they they are unwilling to subscribe to the terms of authentic power it happens once in a while it just happens by magic and then when they see this happen in the lives of people especially when the person is a young man because it's not an issue of age whoever can pay that price the power that truly brings revival and transformation brothers and sisters is one thing to gather people but it's another thing for their lives to be changed there are many churches that the lives of the members are not being changed. Can I tell you the truth? I know that crowd is not an ultimate basis to measure growth and impact. But let me tell you sincerely, when people are being changed, they will come again and again and camp there. That this guy was an armed robber. He was a bad person, an occultist. All of a sudden, he comes to Koinonia for three or four weeks. There are so many people, especially many of the leaders and the workers today. By the grace of God, I know how these people were when they came. Some of them were cultists. Some of them were all sorts of people. But the power of the Spirit. As a minister, when people come to your congregation, you don't screen them and throw the bad ones. There are no bad eggs in the house of God. Because his anointing can change any man. So a man comes with his stubborn. They say, we have tried and tried. And he said, no, not when the authentic power of God comes. You can handle any congregation. As a pastor, they can post you anywhere and it does not matter. They post you to a church of 10 members in one year. It's an avalanche. Because of the anointing. He said, it shall come to pass. Isaiah 10, 27. He says, the burden shall be taken from off your neck and the yoke from your shoulders and it shall be destroyed not because you went to school not because you can speak english because of the anointing there's too much talk in the body of christ because there is no anointing charles and francis hunter of blessed memory wrote a book they said that one miracle is worth a thousand words how true authentic anointing Acts chapter 19, 11 and 12. The Bible says, and God wrought special miracles. God wrought special miracles. Not just ordinary miracles. Brothers and sisters, if you walk in extraordinary miracles, the only thing you will go through that is bad is criticism. But the hand of God is like a signature. And you write upon the lives of men. He is alive. That's why we will continue doing what we are doing. 
that's why anyone who comes here will truly be blessed and we say it with absolute certainty not on the strength of ourselves the bible says we are not sufficient in ourselves our sufficiency is of god who has made us able ministers of the new testament not of the letters because the letter kills but the spirit gives life Number two, the second reward of koinonia is multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. What does multiplied grace bring in your life? Ease of operation. Write it down. I know many struggling ministers. They are doing well, but you know that this, this, they are doing ministry as if it's a, it's a cross to kill them. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light if that yoke is killing you then it's not from god hallelujah ease of operation in your ministry ease of operation in your job there are many people who struggle just for little promotion you have to struggle and bribe and pass no 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 when there is multiplied grace the bible says great grace was upon them great grace Acts chapter 4 verse 31 to 33. When they prayed, the building shook and the Bible says they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Okay, so just write it. We may not run, go there because of time. Our time is up. Number three, the last one, and this is the most important I want you to carry tonight, is that the products, the benefits, the reward of your intimacy with the Holy Spirit is the release of your gifts your talents and your abilities please never forget this this applies to every one of us now it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed you can be gifted and it can be killing you but when your gift is anointed ha! Huh? Your gifts and abilities become anointed. What does it mean to be anointed? It means it is activated and empowered to produce supernatural results. So your singing ministry, you have great gifts. But when he anoints that gift, all of a sudden, your keyboard that you are playing, suddenly, you see wheelchairs standing up just because Mike is playing. That's a gift that has been anointed someone will come up here and just be reciting a poem or be dancing you may belong to a rap group or a dancing ministry and you are dancing and sick bodies are healed that's an ability that has been anointed many of us are gifted and we've spoken about gifts but many of us our gifts are not anointed this is my beloved son he has always been there but now whom i am well pleased hear ye him listen stop trying to draw talents or draw resources forget about those things concentrate on the presence of god when your gifts are anointed people will come when they come they'll come together with their own gifts and their own anointings listen i never for once by the grace of god almighty look at all the brilliant people let me tell you i believe that this ministry has one of the best excellent and most effective workforce and i say this sincerely from the depth of my heart hallelujah from the ushers the worship team there is excellence at our level the prayer department men who are committed you think they are just i never how would i have known them are you getting my point i did not need to worry when you stay in the secret place and your gift becomes anointed distant shores and the islands will see your life has it right yes you are a billionaire ceo but until your gift is anointed you will sit down there stay in the secret place let your gift let your business acumen be anointed and you will do wonders sister you're, you have God blessed you with beauty but it's not anointed that's why it is trivialized you stay in the secret place and let it be anointed the rod of Moses was a great rod but it was not anointed 
when he dropped it in the presence of God, the place of intimacy, God said, now pick up that rod. It's no longer an ordinary rod. He said, with this rod, you will do signs and wonders. Your academics is great, but it has not brought you any blessings because it is not yet anointed. Stop looking for resources. When you draw people, they will come into your life with their resources and abilities. When you contend for an anointing that can solve a millionaire's problem, he will come with his millions. There are many people who try to sit down and learn all kinds of gimmicks to raise money and run ministry. How much money can you raise to run ministry? Stay in the secret place. And while you are in the secret place, you will bless a man who will come with millions and say it's a privilege to sow. Ah! Ask and thou give the nations to me, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see. Listen, I'm telling you, this will come when God gives us the vision to start building. And by the grace of God, when this ministry has entered the next season, our job is to remain in the secret place. It will start attracting all sorts of people. They will come from different countries. You watch and see. They will sponsor the TV satellites and the rest. It's not in my ambition for once to think of how it will be done. Your job is have the potential. Footballers, brothers and sisters, footballers that cannot speak English, receive millions of dollars per week because of their gift they never knew that you need a coach they don't even know adidas or puma all they know is that they master the art of playing with that ball and people rush and say please endorse our product during olympic one little girl 15 years or thereabout america's sweetheart little black girl who was doing exceptional things this lady could you know do all of those cartwheel and all, all of those gymnastics and she did it so well by the next day that lady was on the face of many privileges in america she doesn't know anything about marketing but the gift of a man when anointed it will call the relevant people right now we don't have people who are professionals and experts in 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 launching satellites and doing this don't worry when you stay in the secret place they will come one day they will come i have seen in my visions white men and people there was a time I, seven partners multi-billionaires i've seen it many times in my visions and they'll come and say god has instructed us that you and your ministry you are part of our kingdom commitments for life stay in the secret place stop looking for houses and cars don't insult yourself you're not that cheap what you have is valuable a day will come they will fly you in the private jets but you are not carried away remember it's you and the holy ghost in that plane you say holy spirit you promised me and you have kept your promise it doesn't fail the key to commanding uncommon favor is when your gifts are anointed they will draw people from all over god is speaking to someone here we're rounding up listen brothers and sisters the key to timeless relevance relevance regardless of geography or dispensation is when you have gifts that are anointed they will draw nations they will draw nations not people nations the bible says, you shall call on one person and nations will answer Say, I'm gifted. And tonight, my gift will be anointed. There are many people here tonight is the last time you will be at this level. Take seriously what I'm saying. When God anoints your singing ministry, you see, if God does not anoint you, the other way is to start begging everybody, please, I have an album, will you buy it? Please, I have this, sponsor me. Sam, help me. When you are going for ministration, carry me along. You see people passing all kinds of complimentary cards. I'm an anointed man. Something happened in my meeting. 20 people fell under the anointing. Invite me. That is gift that is not anointed. Because when you are anointed, when you are anointed, 
people will love you. He said, because of the ointment, so do the virgins love you. It's, I know he was talking about relationship, but it's a principle. Gentiles will not come to you. They will come to your light. They can criticize you, but they will never be able to resist you. You will see, I, I keep sharing it. Did you know that people bless my mother today? People call this woman of God and bless her and sow seeds and do all kinds of things. And that is only the beginning. The secret of relevance. You will never go out of fashion when you stay in the secret place. That's why I say the greatest publicity men of god who are always outside running around trying to scrouge for ministry ministry and uh, what do they call it a connection and ministry no 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 stay in the secret place jesus was in the manger the white men carried their gifts they started tracing the stars the wise men they were tracing it where is this one who was born he was there lying down they took gold frankincense myrrh. these were great men they took it angels were announcing him he was there quietly remain in the secret place and you will see that people are talking about you everywhere from criticism somebody will say why are they criticizing this person let me find out and then he hears a message and say i know why they are criticizing you now while you're there quiet if you are talking and advertising yourself your grace is not anointed let her walk speak for her at the gates listen the secret to entering rest is that the anointing comes upon your gift you will rest indeed the bible says let us therefore labor this is not about struggle brothers and sisters please hear me the anointing of the holy spirit the fruit great grace your gift your ability your talent it brings rest and establishment. It eliminates the need for envy and competition. When your gifts are anointed truly, you will find no reason for envy and competition. When I hear that men of God, this one is trying to throw this one, this one is trying to throw this, I just turn to God and I say, Lord, I'm grateful. Thank you for all. Da, 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 da. I can't remember the song Juanita Bynum Precious memories That you left with us I just want to thank you Lord I appreciate you for your love Finally have come this far Beautiful song No competition brothers and sisters You become too exceptional You insult yourself by creating competition There is no reason I always wondered why Benny Hinn loved every man of God I found out later on There was no reason for competition Who is now going to compete with him Based on what? Healing the sick or the anointing You only compete when your gifts are not anointed So you are Any man of God that comes into a place You are threatened and that's what is creating a lot of hatred in the body of Christ. There are men of God when they hear the names of other men of God. There are men of God when they hear the name of Joshua Selman. It's as if they've had the name of a devil. It's not because they hate me. The solution is not to criticize me. The solution is to rise to the place of the anointing. Every time your gift is anointed, you will love everyone around you. Is God speaking to someone? There are some of you who are pastors of different ministries. Some of you fellowships, groups, churches. I want to speak to you. Never find yourself in competition and envy. Let the grace upon people challenge you. But not to cause you to resent people. And you look forward. I can only imagine how many people have been looking forward to hearing scandal about me. So that they will justify that everything they have said is true. There is a hand that lifted me. It will uphold me till the end And I will not be afraid There's no need for competition When your grace is anointed, brothers and sisters When you criticize an anointed man Those you are talking to will go and find out why you are angry Because they will say, why is this thing personal to you? <laughs> and then you end up publicizing the person again 
Because the Lord is my light and he's the light of my life and I will not be afraid. It brings you finally, still point three, just sub points under point three, to a place of kingdom influence so that you can win souls and transform lives. I told you that you need the influence of the kingdom in your life. Never trivialize the place of kingdom influence. You need the influence of the kingdom. When your sphere is enlarged, you need it. So that you will be able to speak the counsel of God to nations and they will go in that direction. If Michael Jackson ever said Jesus is Lord, there would be more salvations than many crusade meetings put together because of the power of influence. And so God anoints our gifts and lifts us up to that position where we can command the influence of the kingdom. Everybody stand up, please. We have just a few minutes. We've taken so much time. Please stand up. I just want to pray one prayer for you. Hallelujah. I know our time is fast spent. Please relax and receive that which I want to speak over your life. Shiva Lada Bhagavan.